Nothing like drinking cha out of a New York Yankees mug. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's a Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon for listening to the Subscribe to the like. And you're like, yeah, why aren't you guys together? I uh, ended up having to be out of town this weekend for family and uh, a wedding I'm having to go to. And so it just happened to be the week that uh, two big films come out. Uh, and so yep. that's that's why you are seeing us via Skype. Um, and uh, today we're doing a movie review. And it's of the new, well, new film, remake of Tamil film, uh, Vikram Veda, starring and Saif Ali Khan, and a stash of uh, Radhika, and a pinch of B.J. <laughs> Raz's voice. <laughs> Just uh, a pinch. Pinch of EJ Ross's voice. Uh, and uh, some of you uh, might be here and you're like, why didn't you watch PS1? Uh, it's, we, this was just worked out for scheduling today, the early showing of Vikram Veda. And then tomorrow we will be watching PS1 uh, early as well. So you will get that review tomorrow. Just so you, if you're wondering, like, oh, are you, we, you will, just, we, will, we will get to it. It was just a scheduling thing. That's all. Show times. Yep. Yeah, show times. So, uh, obviously, this just came out, so we'll do uh, mostly non-spoiler. And if we want to get into some spoils, we'll get into some spoils, just since it's a new film uh, that people... Well, it's... You know, you know what I said. I said it before. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a remake, but it is new. Um, but it is uh, directed uh, by... Uh, huh, I have him here. Gayatri and Pushkar, right? And I believe they're the same... Uh, the people that directed the original film. As well, uh, starring uh, Ritha Groshin, Saif Ali Khan, uh, and like I said, a sprinkling of Radhika Opte. Um, but Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Well, my initial thoughts are uh, it, there's there may be an audience out there that's gonna gonna like it. I I didn't like it. I'm sorry to say. I um, um, I. Wanted to, obviously, the trailer gave me high expectations. I'm not of the ilk we've talked before about just because something's a remake, I'm going to automatically dislike it. And I'm always looking for things to like. But ultimately, and it's not, you know, I had texted you and said that for some reason the sound again was, you know, blood bursting out of your ears loud. I had the meter going again, and it was at supersonic sound levels with, you know, literally the decibel levers of a jackhammer. But I made it a point to not let that be which a is, determining Which is factor. weird because it wasn't that for me. It, the, the, the sound I know. was perfectly fine for me. Which, which leads me to believe that what it is is a movie theater, not a distributor problem. It's, it's the theaters. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I, we can talk about it more and more. But my ultimate uh, feeling of the movie was for me that I, I just yeah. I didn't, didn't like, like it very much. Yeah. No, I, 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 I had fun with it. I, I, th I thought it was a, a good time. It was definitely a um, – as opposed – well – I compared it a little bit to like Vikram because it's still like commercial, but that one's more gritty and, and, and different like that where this is was Bollywood commercial gangster. Right. And so, yeah, like there's certain things that I, that I thought was really fun. Certain prefer like Rithik, uh, we'll, we'll get to talk about him. Uh, the, I thought he gave a fun, fun performance in this film. Uh, and then there's just stuff that actually went back to like, uh, my old school feelings of like not liking songs in certain kinds of films. Uh, Cause I just don't think they, they fit in all kinds of films. And this was one of them. I agree. That, that, this is one of them. Uh, even though I, 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 you've seen it, it's on online, but I, it's fun to get to see Rhythmic Dance. Obviously that's a, that's a, that's always a treat. Right. And I think it was yeah. a, a fun, like if it was like kind of like in Jaish, the, uh, the Ren Beer film at the end, I, I think it might've been fine. But yeah, this is one of the ones that I think, could have benefited from not having all those songs in it, you know, uh, yep. and, and all that kind of stuff. So that was, that was definitely one of my big rides, but let's get to the, the positives. What did you think? Of yeah. Rithic's, what did you think of Rithik's performance? That's what I wanted to say. I want to accentuate the positives first about the things that I can take away from it, that I can say that uh, were, were positive. I, I thought all three of them, and it's not a surprise. I thought Rithik safe and Radhika, did the best they could do with what they were given. I really do. I particularly think um, I can see 
in Rithik what he said in the interview recently when I talked about the fact that he started out wanting to be a movie star and now he wants to be an actor. Um, I, I can see how seriously he took this role. And, yeah. and I, I appreciated that. No, I actually um, really, really enjoyed his performance uh, because I... It's, it's a very me role, right? I love like this. Oh, yeah. Just gritty, little, like almost villainous, right? Uh, without giving anything away um, and stuff like that. And so it's it's a very me. I loved his look, beard, and he looked sexy as hell and, and the beard and the hair and all that. And he was great and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so I, I actually really, it's one of my favorite performances just because it's just, I this is what I prefer actors to do is do these nice, gritty, little, roles as opposed to uh even though uh, different kind of roles are fun brahmahastra that's those are fun kind of films but this is just my kind of and maybe it's just more stuff my style uh that kind yeah of stuff. but i think he was definitely the standout performance uh I Saif, agree. Saif, i thought did a good job and this was obviously it's so interesting seeing Saif's trajectory like being like this this love interest quirky weird in the 90s that we saw in like uh whatever that uh shower Khan film that we saw uh, like a month ago, uh, which is Kaho Naho. And how, Kaho Naho. Yeah, and how like weird and over the top he was. And then now he's become like, yeah, Sartage is like, he's like, oh, oh, this is kind of getting to, into my lane a little bit. And I really enjoyed that about him. Uh, even though I think Rithik, as the, it was, he has the more meaty role in terms of like, he gets to be a little more accentuated and, and all that kind of stuff. And so uh, I really enjoyed that. Radhika, uh, it's Radhika update. She's, she's never going to, do a bad role. I'm going to just be honest with you. No, she's, she's she could have been in a, she could have been in a way more though. She's literally, she's a Tom Hardy in that you can give her a bad script and she'll make it look good. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I just, I don't think Radhika can like, who was it? There's an actor who it may have been Ian McKellen who was given a phone book. And was just reading names out of the phone book, and it sounded Shakespeareanly riveting, you know. <laughs> and yeah, I, I just, I really, I really, yeah. Radhika is one of the actors that can truly do no wrong. <laughs> yeah, she can, she can do that. And uh, I, I do like that because I, um, it's, I know Rithik's performance was very different from what um, Vijay Sadapathy gave, obviously in the original. Um, and so I, I do want to commend Rithik for that. And I think he, he's definitely my favorite part of the film, even though I, like I said, I, I actually enjoyed this film. I would watch this film again. Uh, even though I know, Oh you, yeah, you, no, I would I, not. I know you had a very different experience, but I would watch this film again. I, I actually enjoyed kind of the, um, massive feel. There's other stuff I would change if I was directing it and yeah, different directions I would go, but I know they were going for a mass commercial film, which is why there was, mm-hmm you know all this emotion at certain times and they add songs in certain places as opposed to like if Anyarag directed this film it would be a strict you know uh well it would be a film festival film yeah it'd be a film festival film but obviously that's not yeah. really what they were and i don't I, it was actually it was funny because i think the directors are the original south indian directors and so you mm. got in in normally what you get in the south indian films with the big massy kind of entrances you got in a bollywood film which they don't often get as much as south indian films do uh yeah like, like the 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 yash entrance in kgf and like all these right like, i i still one of my favorite things we've ever reacted to was the the song from vikram veda the da 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 it's just such a great background score yeah I, I, I don't know who the who is that sorry um is the, the, the composer of is the composer sam song? cs is that who who, who came up with it I don't know. I don't know. I do apologize. But uh, yeah, that whole score and then like the ding, 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 oh, like a lot of the background music, even though I know it's too the loud theme. for you, even though I know it was too loud for you. Uh, I, I enjoyed a lot of the background music, gave a lot of mass feel to it. The the, the issues would come to me uh, more in obviously some of the, the writing, obviously, <laughs> in it that was very basic, right? Uh, and, and very uh, convenient. Problematic. Yeah, 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 for sure. That I, I definitely agree, and that's what you. I, I don't know why they do it, and I'm assuming it's uh, has to do with the who the target audience is. They don't want to make certain people think too much because they just want them to come right. in for a good time, right? Uh, it's just you know, our style is just yeah, it's just just give me more of the nitty gritty as opposed to the especially like the first thirty minutes were. It, it, I was getting really nervous until Rithik showed up. 
Me too. Because I was he, waiting. I'm like, please bring Rithik out. Because yeah. right now, I don't know where this is going to go. Yeah, when Rithik came in, I was like, ooh, screen uh, presence. Brought his brought his pizzazz to it. And I, I really enjoyed that. I liked it because it, it got more serious when Rithik and, and Saif were, you know, together and and um, uh, going head to head. But yeah, I, I'd say a lot, a lot of the writing. And then I, I just, even though I know they were going for the mass feel, I I don't think this film actually needed songs in it. I think the background. I, agree. I think the background music would have been completely enough uh, for, I agree. for this film. Yeah, I agree. And and the sound, while it was you know the decibel level was too high, thankfully yeah. the film itself is not this constant barrage in your face. Oh, like KGF. Uh, there were there, yeah. like KG, exactly like KGF. There were plenty of moments where it pulled back from the action. And I, I thought that was one of the things that was pretty well balanced in the film mm-hmm. was that it was, it was neither without action, nor was it just over the top, just nonstop bombastic stuff. Yeah. Um, it, it did while the sound didn't bother me throughout because I got those breaks. Uh, there was this stereotypical, you know, overscoring to d- withdraw the emotion. That yeah, especially, was, especially in the emotional moments. I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And I, the, the, you know, this is the kind of film like at the to me, the, the the target audience and the stamp of what this movie is all about. Like if you were to put this into one moment of the film, you're like, you want to know what this kind of movie's about from start to finish it? This it's basically the climactic fight when uh, should we get into spoilers? Um, yeah, yeah, we yeah, just finish your thought and then we can get to some spoilers. Yeah, well, let's just I, let's just say there's a. I don't want to give. I'll 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 say this because it's a spoiler. I just realized because I was coming out of my mouth. Okay. Um, but I there's a moment. Here's another moment. Like you said, the target audience and not having them think too much. There's there's a point where someone in the movie has a Glock and they've loaded the cartridge, and they rattle off 35, 40, 45 rounds out of that thing, and a Glock cartridge only holds 15 rounds. So it's like, okay, so we'll just, we'll not think about that now. And there was a moment where somebody got shot and you're watching it and the CGI blood stain moves on the shirt as they slowly fall to the left. So we won't, you know, it had that kind of elements for me that I was just, I'm out. (laughs) (laughs) You didn't, you didn't enjoy like just the overall, like, even though I, there's some kills. the stunts. Yeah, I yeah, love the, the stunt work and the I, fight scenes. I yeah, obviously all the fight scenes are really fun and, and all that kind of really stuff. Fun. Even though I wish that actually, I always prefer more gore, but it goes again to the commercial. They didn't want to get too gory because of the the, the target I mean, audience that they're going for. Yes. It has to be more acceptable, even though it is a violent film, and so it's not necessarily a family film. Uh, but you know, I I always prefer, even though there were some stuff that like, but they uh, some of the stuff they gave away like the the on the, the neck on the, the car thing and then him slicing. Yes. Which actually I, I kind of wish they almost didn't give us those in the, uh, in the, in the trailer. Cause I think yeah. those would have been a, a really cool to experience uh, in the theater. Yeah, the, the sledgehammer hit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it, it was, it was super interesting how they kind of weaved it all. And I so I don't want to give that away. We can talk about that in spoilers. Um, yeah. But yeah. So like overall I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I think a lot of Indians will probably enjoy it even more than, than we would, especially if you like big, massy action films. Uh, yeah. which obviously do not, did not uh, share that sentiment. Uh, but obviously you I heard this it. is going to be exactly what audiences were like. I think you're going to have some people who yeah. are like, not like and it some all. people are like, yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, it's it's so interesting because I, I bet tomorrow we're going to get a completely different style of film, right? We're going to get a big epic, but I don't think it has like big action epic. It's just a big no, epic I'm, scale of a film. Uh, and uh, so we're going to oh, get like, like really sto- – I mean, not that this isn't story driven. It, it, it has a pretty intricate story to it. Uh, but it's yeah. obviously such a different film from what we're probably going to get tomorrow. Who knows? Might hate that one. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you guys can let us know what you thought in the comments. But yeah, is, is there some spoiler stuff you wanted to talk about, though? Real, real quick yeah, the thing I was going to say. Spoiler, now, spoiler, 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 so spoiler, spoiler. Go so see like, the movie and then come back. And Yeah, uh, um, yeah for me, like the moment that sums it up. 
the moment toward the end there where they're running along side by side and the other guys are running along shooting at him and the guy has the AK-47 and he's shooting at them and missing. And then the moment before that, Rithik is just walking at the guy unarmed and the guy at point black range is going <laughs> and missing. And then the quintessential moment is safe and Rithik in slow-mo coming at the guys with flames blowing up behind them. If that's your kind of movie where you're just checking your brain at the door in terms of the reality of it, and you just love watching your movie stars well, that's die hard, and isn't shoot it? them up. That's Die Hard. No, nobody shoots somebody at point blank range and gets away with it in Die Hard. They, they at least keep the realism <laughs> in Die Hard. Star Wars. <laughs> Storm well, even, as bad, even as bad of a shooter as a stormtrooper is. Um, uh, yeah, I, I just, that, in, in, in massy films like this, I don't think about that stuff. I'm like, oh, that's, I do. I, it's fun. It's a good time we're having right here. I bet. I, so if it, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I'm, I'm betting in Shah Rukh Khan's Pathan, you're going to want to probably leave some of your, br- that style of your brain away. Cause I bet we're going to get stuff yeah. like that in, in Pathan. No, it's just, it, it, it's, I don't. Because it's all, how, all they're doing, all the all the style is just for entertainment. That's all. That's yeah, but, all that is for. I, I know, but I don't know why anybody would find somebody shooting somebody at point blank multiple times and missing completely stylistically enjoyable. I just don't get that. Because in the next frame, he kills them, and so that's fun. <laughs> It doesn't require much brains to come up with a scenario where it's more believable so that you're not sitting there disassociated. I'm not even talking about needing suspension of disbelief. We're not at that level of artistry. I just mean remaining entertained where it's like, that's never going to happen in 10,000 years, whatever. Well, like, I mean, how dumb do you think I am? Well, you know how, uh, how bad your legs would break if you jumped off a three-story building <laughs> and well, machined yeah. someone? <laughs> yeah, of course. So like... That's why it's like I mean, you check your brain a little bit, and so like I, a lot you, of it. You you've always had a problem with, especially gun uh, miss. Like I don't know what the word is, um, um, misuse of logic with guns. I guess I don't know. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know. Like I, it seems like that's a, that's a big gripe of yours. A lot of times in the films is if somebody oh, does something and you're like, oh, I know, I know it is. I'm not, I'm not denying it. But it's just, it's one of those things that's, that's one of your things. It's like, right when I see it, I'm like, ooh, Rick's going to have a problem with that right there. Rick's not going to like that. It's (laughs) it's straight up insulting to me. It's like, as an audience member, I'm thinking, director, do you really think I'm that dumb that you can get away with that? I think it's more of just, they're just like, ah, this will look cool. Because I think that's what they're, I think. Because obviously Rithik is a massive star. People just want him to, and obviously, since this is a South Indian original film, People, especially in South India, the the way they the heroes are treated in films, and you know, you know how they could they're basically gods, right? As we know now, um, and all that kind of stuff. But I I get it. I right when I saw certain things, I was like, yeah, I think Rick's gonna have a, I think Rick's yeah, gonna well, have a least, problem with that one. At least give me like a, a Keanu Reeves in the Matrix, or even in his the the other John Wick films. At least at least give me one of these. You know, <laughs> give me something. No, Rhythm did. I saw him. He went. No, nah. <laughs> right, right at he the end. Did. Right at the yeah, end, he he, uh, he was walking up and he was like, uh, uh, dodging bullets, man. He's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. He can do it. He's a good dancer. He's like, he's fast. Oh. He trained with Prabhu. That's why yeah. he can. Uh, that's why he can dodge there, bullets. That's that's it. Okay, now it's justifiable. <laughs> <laughs> right. I saw him duck the bullet uh, there at the end. I was like, oh, oh. It was actually but a- in the story, and I think I think you have the same issue I have with the story in that, like. In what world does a guy who's wanted so badly for 16 murders that a special operations team is headed, that the guy can walk into the police station with a firearm and then a few minutes later his attorney get them out? And then in what world does the attorney happen to be married to the guy who heads the squad that's been chasing the guy and nobody sees a conflict of interest? It's just ridiculous. Yeah, but Saif and Radek had sex, and so that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny in the beginning of the channel you liked certain films more than I did I like big commercial films and I, I think I've, I, gr- I think I've grown to gross. accept 
big, massy commercial things more than you have now. I think you're absolutely <laughs> correct. Because in the bidding, I had so many issues, and now I'm just like, nah, it's fine. Shower Khan can definitely fly. I know he can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't oh, wait no. for Pathan. I like. I want to know like what style of film we're gonna get with that. Um, but anyways, yeah, but, you guys. But see, didn't we have issues? Weren't there issues that like strained credulity? Oh, for example, yeah. in, you know, in like in the movie War. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. But. They weren't, for me, so far afield that it was oh. like, okay, stop. That's interesting. I enjoyed this more than I enjoyed War. But like I said, I think it might just be a style thing. because You like this more than War? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, obviously, These... some, of the, some of the car action scenes in War were really fun. I'm not denying that. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, oh, I, I like War a lot. It's just this is my style, man. I like, I like gangster people killing each other. And I just really enjoyed... This is one of my, even though I think like the film is not one of like uh, Rithik's best in terms of mm-hmm. like overall, this is one of my favorite performances of his just because I like him doing something different and doing like a little kind of a little bit of a crazy uh, with his, with his thing. I like, just like I, I can appreciate Shah Rukh Khan in, even though the, the, the Alia film that we didn't appreciate that very much, I forget what was the uh, Deers and Doggy, right? That was, that was that one. Yeah. 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 I enjoyed his performance and the, his character in that uh, quite a bit. Just like I did, I, I enjoyed Rithix in this. I don't like, because I think, what is my favorite? What is the best Rithic performance for me? I might, I, jo, um, why am I forgetting the name? Joda jo, Akbar. Joda Akbar. He's up there. Yeah. Right? Especially, I loved him in Joda Akbar. And believe it or not, I think one of his better performances is actually Deborah. Oh, you think so? I do. I mean, it's not one of those films you think about in those in those terms, but I, I feel like he did a, when I think about it, he also gets points for how hard he worked in another another one you guys are going to be thinking, huh, if you haven't been around the channel, but in Gersnatch, I felt he, he really did his ample best with that role. That was a tough role. Yeah. Now, I'd say it'd probably be overall with how good the movie was and how good his performance, probably Joda Akbar is probably my favorite performance. Uh, mm-hmm. of it. It's just because that movie was so good. He yeah. was so good. But this, Agreed. I mean, I, I, his performance, just because it's so different, because I would never, like if you were saying to me right now, before we had seen this, right, I, you know all your actors. Who are you casting as Veda, the, the villainish character? I would have not right. thought of Rithik. I would not have thought of Rithik. Me too. And so, since he did such a good job, that I think I, I was I, I was just so impressed, and so I, I really I, I liked his performance quite a bit. So you guys can let us yeah. know what you thought if you didn't like the film, if you liked the film, if you uh, think I'm an idiot, if you think Rick's an idiot, if you think the channel's go just going down the shitter with uh, how we're how we're doing stuff now. Just let us know in the comments. Well, it all helps the algorithm, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let us know what you thought. And once again, we are watching PS1 tomorrow. You will see our review yep. for that tomorrow. Uh, pro- I'm hoping we can get it for the first drop. I think we can. Uh, yeah, I, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think we can because I think we're both seeing it on the early side. Yeah, I'm seeing it about noon, but I think the early show time for you is noon. So that's two hours after me. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so, I think, you know, three-hour film, if I get it around noon, I should be done and ready to go by the time you hit your – time zone in a way that I, I think it's feasible it could be the first drop tomorrow okay uh but yeah you guys let us know what you thought about this film uh and if uh, other stuff just let me let us know down in the comments